We must keep flexible and soft wrists through the hip. Good morning, Miracle Swingers. I know everybody wants explosive lag that they can smash the golf ball with just like Sergio Garcia. Now, there's a secret I'm gonna be sharing with you that is a part of the brand new expanded over the top Miracle Swing video that is only at my swing evolution. Dot com. This new video is the bomb. It's 10 times better than the first because I've had an entire year to research the over-the-top miracle swing. So today we're going to be talking about lag and it has a lot to do with the claw. You've heard me talk about the claw and you have to be able to allow the club to set in your hands. And I'm gonna teach you my personal technique for doing that. And I also wanna invite you guys out to the Spring MSE Intensive March 25th and 26th. This is a transformative weekend of golf. People fly around the world for these intensives. I've got three spots left, so I'd love for you to be in this class. So. Let's get into today's video about explosive lag, and I hope it helps you hit the ball longer and straighter. Claw is this position I picked up from Roger Dunn, who said that the hand, all great golfers have this position with their hand. Well, the claw is Shangri-La. It's that pre-release position. And essentially, since the golf swing is like a throw, it's all the last moment. Lag is nothing but the last moment when the last hinge in the kinetic chain gets released. So if you're throwing a ball, it starts in the ground, goes through the core, and the last element is the throwing of the implement, the ball, or the club. So the claw and Shangri-La are simply the last point before the club is thrown into the ball. Does that make sense? Totally, totally makes sense. Now, one of the keys to the feeling of the throw in the golf swing is a feeling of soft wrists. If you can imagine you were gonna throw a baseball and you had like a bowling splint on your wrist, you probably wouldn't be able to throw it very hard because lag, this last piece of the puzzle before you let go of the ball, is so important. We must keep flexible and soft wrists through the hip. I have a tendency to get really stiff wristed trying to control the face, but I learned I gain control with softer wrists and allowing the club head to release with speed through impact. You have to give up control to gain control. And we're gonna do that with soft wrists. Guys, have you heard? It's no longer a bad thing to swing over the top. If you look closely, you'll see lots of tour pros doing this now. And shoot, it's the same thing that Sam Snead, Bobby Jones, and even Ben Hogan used to do. My little over-the-top move is changing the lives of golfers all around the world. I'm feeling elated. Thank you. Dude, I love it. <laughs> what club is this? <laughs> You've got to give the over-the-top miracle swing a try. I guarantee you'll be hitting the best shots of your life. Yeah, I shot a 72 at Balboa and it was easy. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Now's your chance to learn the over-the-top miracle swing. Yep. Only at My Swing Evolution. 